This video is about a simple contraption that I came up with, Secure Underground Sentry System or as I would like to call it SUS. Now if you take a look at this piece of land here, it looks pretty unsuspecting and any player would just walk over it without giving it a second look. But with just a click of a button, this entire land can be converted into your first frontline defense. And crossing this defense won't be easy. Now in order to control this entire system, you either need 3 levers, 3 remotes, you can place as many turrets as you want to and they will just attack any hostiles that are in the area and once the task is done, these turrets will then go back again to their resting place and once they are back inside, we can simply close the gate and there. It's like the turrets were never even here. So if you guys like the idea, you are gonna love this video. Without any further ado, let's get straight into it. In order to start building this contraption, we will need an open area with at least 12 by 12 blocks of space. Now the reason that we are going with 12 by 12 is because the biggest turret, excluding the artillery turret, is Jeremy. And Jeremy requires 10 by 10 blocks in order to turn around in every direction without overlapping the boundaries. Now if you have a smaller turret, you can place more of them, but if you have a bigger turret, you can place less, like the Jeremy. So start by making a 12 by 12 hole in the ground and then make it total 10 deep. So counting from the surface, the hole should be 10 deep. There we go. So let's quickly do a block count here. There we have 10 blocks deep. And if we take the area, we have 144 blocks, which means total 12 by 12. Now come to the center of the square and mark it with four blocks as the center of the square will be total four blocks. Now on any of these four blocks, place down a rod folder. And on top of the rod folder, place down two mechanic pistons by shift clicking. Now break the middle piston and then come down and then shift right click again to place it facing the bottom. So now that we have one piston facing up, one piston facing bottom, take rod which is the normal rod and then right click on the bottom piston and the rod feeder in order to connect them. And now place five rods in the rod folder. These rods are decided on the depth that you are going for. I am going for 10 block depth, that is why I am placing 5 rods. Now take a super sticky extension and make sure that it is super sticky and place it on the topmost piston. In order to make the skeleton of the entire body, we are going to use the 3 slime blocks that I just showed you. So start with the super glue block and make sure that you place 4 in the center and then extend 4 in all of the directions like this, making a plus sign. So here we go for the third side and finally the fourth side and make sure that there is a one block gap between the block of super glue and the wall. If these two are connecting your entire system will simply jam. Now place down slime block in the middle. So fill up all the remaining gap with slime blocks and in this way we will make a 10 by 10 platform. There we go. Now take your surface block, in my case it is the sandstone, so cover the entire top portion with sandstone. So all of the sandstone should be in contact with the slime blocks. There we go. Now take out the middle sandstone like this if you want to place a turret in the middle. So let's say that you want to place Jeremy. You can place this turret like this. Just make sure that the base of the turret is touching the slime blocks. But I want to place a smaller turret. So let's make three placeholders. So using the center as a reference point, we are going to dig out four more blocks in the front. And then let's dig out two more in the side like this. So that's one and the another one. And now simply replace the middle blocks with sandstone blocks. So now we have three placeholders with super glue blocks. Here place down the Tawan turret or whatever turret you would like. I'm just gonna go with Tawan turret as they shoot pretty quickly. So that's the basic things done. Now we are gonna go with redstone. So first place down a block of sandstone or any block of your choice and place down a wire receiver, a wireless receiver basically going into the bottom most piston. Now we can't do the same process for the topmost piston as the block will simply stick to the super glue block. Therefore place down a top slab with a redstone dust 
and then leave a two block gap place down another sandstone block with top slab on top connected with redstone and then we are gonna place another wireless receiver now the redstone that we placed is not going to stick to the super glue so that's the frequency that i have set the frequency that we are going to use basically is going to be the one that i have used for the other two turrets as well so in order to make the entire structure go up i am going to go with the frequency one that will fire the top piston and in order to bring the entire structure down i'm going to go with two this will fire the bottom piston now in order to make the door for this entire thing we are going to use the drawbridge from tinker macworks so here place down five sandstone blocks this is the most basic gate design that i'm showing you and if you break it and if you are in creative the drawbridge will actually retain the items so now you have a drawbridge with five sandstone blocks in it so start placing the sandstone blocks in a row of 10 and remember that the block that you need to place inside is the surface block as we need this entire build to be flush with the floor so there we go and that will make gaps in the sides make sure to fill these gaps with sandstone block or the surface block in whichever biome you are building so that's both of the sides done and now we need to power these drawbridges so in order to power them we need the wireless receiver make sure that it is facing the drawbridge and then start setting the frequency to 3 as 1 and 2 are already used up now take your redstone paste and after shift clicking start placing it on all of the blocks like this so all of the drawbridge blocks should have sticky redstone or basically redstone paste on it and the frequency should be set to 3 so now that we have all three receivers placed we can actually test the entire system and just to make sure or just a quick reminder one was the frequency to make the entire system go up it goes into the top piston two was the frequency to bring it down the bottom piston and three was the frequency for the gate so let's go with one and as you can see the turrets are actually coming up so that's working perfectly now with two all of the turrets are going down and finally let's test three which is the gate there we go it's completely flush with the floor now in order to camouflage the drawbridge itself it's pretty simple just click on the drawbridge inventory and place a sandstone block in the first slot like this and that will make the drawbridge look like the sandstone so in this way you can actually make a perfect camouflage and yeah <laughs> it is pretty amazing what the drawbridge can do and that's the last one we have made a completely flush door system which when closed looks completely unsuspecting all right now this is just some interior work that i am doing you can skip this entire section if you want to and yeah i'm just making sure that there are lights in here so that when the doors are closed you can still see stuff in here because sometimes you will have to reload the turrets perform maintenance stuff like that so yeah it's better to have lights inside and once the entire lighting system is done mine it is going to look something like this all right so here's something about the pistons from pistronics 2 they don't work with constant redstone signal you need to supply pulse of redstone signal or basically you have to supply the signal in pulses in order to make them move continuously now we need to repeat this entire contraption basically create pulses in order to make the entire structure move up and down so we are going to do that at the very bottom you are going to need a bunch of redstone components as you can see on your screen right here the first component that we are going to start with is the wireless receiver so place the wireless receiver in one of the corners and then place a sticky piston with a redstone block in front of it now one block away from the redstone block place down a comparator in subtract mode and make a loop of redstone going back into it now make sure that the redstone is not coming or sorry the redstone dust is not coming from the redstone block side then place three repeaters on 10 ticks delay 4 4 and 2 which is 10 ticks that means one second and place down a transmitter 
Now with this transmitter, we want to control the structure going up. So we are going to set it to a frequency of 1. If you just realize, we made a 0 second or 0 tick clock and we converted into a 1 second clock. Now repeat the same thing for the other side. Place down a comparator in subtract mode, redstone dust away from the redstone block, two redstone dust with three repeaters, and the repeaters are set to total 10 ticks delay, which is one second. Here's another transmitter, and this transmitter is going to set to a frequency of two, which will bring the structure down. And finally, in order to control the gates, we don't need a pulsing signal, we need a constant redstone signal. That's why just place a receiver with a piston and a redstone block with a transmitter in front of it. That's it. And set it to a frequency of 3 by the way. So with this, the redstone is done. Now we need to assign a frequency to these three receivers that are going to fire the piston in the first place. So I am going to use the frequency that I used for the previous versions. So for the door 1, I am going to use a frequency of 4. So set the receiver to a frequency of 4 as it is the same I used for the other ones and also take a remote and set it to a frequency of 4 which is the door. So now if we click it once, it will send a zero tick signal which will make the piston leave the block and therefore our door will be closed. So basically what we made was a remote control piston. Oh sorry, a remote control lever. There we go. Now let's do the same for taking the structure up and down. So for taking the structure up, I assign a frequency of 5. So if I select the red up, you can see that it has a frequency of 5. So set the remote to a frequency of 5. And now if I click the remote once, it will start the clock and our entire structure will start going up. There we go. All right, so the structure is up. You can turn off the clock now. And let's do the same for bringing the turret down which has a frequency of 6. So set the remote to a frequency of 6 here. And once you click it, it will start the clock and it will start bringing the structure down. Just remember that once the structure is completely up or down, make sure to turn it off. Otherwise, you, it will be stuck in a constant loop of going up and down. Now, in order to finalize everything and to test this system, just power it with a self-charging battery, place the appropriate ammo in there and your turrets are ready to go. You can leave your turrets on at all the time and if, if you are not comfortable with it, then you can turn them off and then turn them on when they come up. All right, so let's test the system. Let's bring out our volunteers, which are the villagers and let's spawn three of them for now. There goes one, two and three. All right, opening the doors and bringing the turrets up. And they are already gone. <laughs> Let's spawn in some more. So as you can see, the system is working perfectly. All the turrets are firing. And boom. So once you get rid of all the hostiles, simply press the button and the system will lag a little bit as there are a lot of moving parts in here but once the system is down completely you can turn the gates off there we go and close it up so that you can walk in here comfortably so if you guys like this video and this idea do smash that like button and also be sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this peace out my dudes stay safe